Hey guys, Erin here with another episode of A Little Bit of Everything with Erin. Today we'll be going over the wrap function in your Silhouette Cameo. You will need to have either Design Edition or the Business Edition to use this function. If you only have the basic program, this will not work. You can upgrade on a lot of different sites or even Silhouette itself. Make sure you price check on these because there are some sites that will have specials on upgrading and you can save yourself a few dollars. Okay. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get started. So I'm going to start off with this banner that I have that I use for some images and I'm going to make this one say welcome. And let's go ahead and grab the font called impact because it's nice and thick, easy to read. So you'll want to bring that up into your banner or whatever you're trying to curve your word around and stretch it out a little bit so that it kind of fits as best as possible. After you get it in there, let's stretch it a little more, you will want to center this with your banner. So I just click on both and go to the transform panel and hit center so that it moves it. I'm just going to move this up a little bit. So before to do this you would neither need another program to curve your word this way you would have to curve it the old school way that you do in Silhouette with the circle. Or you would have to ungroup it and use the edit points to manipulate each letter. So I'm really glad that Silhouette listened to its customers and let us have this function. Once your word is ready, you're going to highlight it and go down to the bottom right. There should be an arrow. If you click on that arrow, you're going to click on this weird looking image here. That's your wrap panel. And then you want to click Wrap Selected Shapes. And that gives you this new grid. This grid works similar to Edit Points, so if you've used Edit Points before, it'll be kind of easy. These will manipulate your word when you drag them. See how the letters change? What I like to do is go kind of with the flow of the curve that I'm trying to get. So I typically bring the, bring the green up into that curve and then kind of manipulate from there to get the letters to go in a way that I want them to sit in this banner. Now, if you're going to do an offset behind this, after you figure out where you want the letters to curve and sit, make sure you keep that in mind so that you keep enough space behind and between and on the sides so that you can sit that where you need it to go. Now, the blue ones, if you pull on those, kind of stretches the letters for you. For the most part, I used I used the green, well, the red dots, but the green lines. Sorry, guys, somebody was at the door. So now I'm just going to move it a little bit and still just manipulate. And I think for the most part, and just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to say that I'm happy with it. Just want to raise it right here a little bit. So once you're happy with it, you want to hit release warp. And now it makes it go from a font to an image and you just want to group those together so that they move together then if you wanted to do your offset you would just click on it and go to your offset panel and hit offset and then you can just change the size of that I'm just going to hit enter to do a preview now oh, we can go a little bigger And then hit apply. Then 
I like to just move that, select all the letters, and unselect the banner, and group that together. So we'll say that this is going to be black too, and that the letters are going to be, we'll just go with pink, my favorite, right? Then I'm just going to set that back on there. We'll take all the cut lines off so that you can read it easy. And there you go. That's how you would use that. So if you have any comments, feel free to leave me a comment down below. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe. If you hit the bell, you'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers, guys. Thanks so much for helping me reach that goal. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate your feedback. Until next time, happy crafting!